Hello everybody and welcome back to another Nuclear Throne Ultra jumping back in again. Yet again we are going for more of the secret ultras going for this one here. Copy wield basically is super easy. We just have to reach ultra holding two of the same weapon type. It doesn't even have to be the same weapon. So just two SMGs, two assault rifles, two shotguns, anything like that will do. So technically we could just stick with this and if we like put some mutes on and stick exactly with this setup. But obviously, we probably won't do that. Um, but yeah, getting. I think for me, what I'd like to go for is two shotguns would be pretty nice. That would be my ideal setup, I think. We do have an inverted area down here. I wasn't expecting that. Good, good. No! It dragged me through to the wrong one. You bastard. I wanted to go to the inverted area, clearly. But this is always a good setup to start. I mean, the dual um, SM the, the dual bouncer SMGs is just an undeniably awesome combo. <laughs> undeniably cool. We've got another inverted area here, which is surprising. I'll take it. Um, yeah, let's go with shotgun shoulders. Oh man, I forget how awesome this stage is. You have to be careful though, because there is some gnarly stuff on this stage. Especially with all the poison. Um, but yeah, uh, I think shotgun shoulders with dual shotgun could be pretty awesome. Okay, I just took toxic by accident, so I guess we'll see how that goes, but that's probably a bad idea overall. There's a toxic chest down here, I don't know about that. Um... I'll probably go with Lucky Shot here, and... Metabolism, maybe? Throw we go. Yeah, this, this, I forget how awesome this stage looks. Gotta remember that literally every single enemy down here is poison based, pretty much. There's also some freezing enemies. Oh yeah, I forget how unbelievably unfair the boss is down here as well. Unfortunate. I wasn't ready for that much poison. I was a bit too close to the boss. Unfortunately, with dual wielding with these guns, you kind of need to get close. And that boss is not friendly to uh, being close. Not very friendly at all to it. But we jump straight back in and we, we go to the savannah. Why not? This is the savannah, right? That's what this was called. I don't actually know. It just feels like it should be called savannah. Dude. Okay, maybe I'll have to swap weapons. I really like these two golden weapons, but the accuracy at range is just abysmal. I really want golden micro weapons as this guy. Okay, doesn't matter because this is basically all I have. Let's try grenade revolver and see how that goes. I feel like it could be bad. Ooh, there's a new crown there. One second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Walls don't exist. What? Oh, what the fuck? I've never seen this before. Oh, wait. I can shoot through them. I cannot walk through them. Interesting, though. I don't know if I want that all the time, but it's interesting. I think, honestly, the Bouncer SMG is just the main way to go here. Oh, I forgot we have all the skins for this guy. Definitely go with the little fat guy. Oh, he rolls as well. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. He fucking rolls as he moves. For the steroids, it's just a fat man. I love that. I absolutely love that. Just keep plowing forward and see what we can do. Okay, there's, there's one shotgun. I'm going double shotgun build all the way if I can. If the game will let me. It may not, but... Ooh, that's a lot of rads down there. Lovely. With a shotgun as well, it's pretty easy to claim those rads. Beautiful. Puffy cheeks. I think I'm still going to go for lucky shot, to be honest. When you're dual wielding, you're firing so many shots, you want a, even just a small chance to regain that ammo. Needle, no thank you. <laughs> he roll. 
He do be rolling. Rolling in the D. Right. Here we are, here we are. Um, shotgun shoulders, beautiful. I mean, scarier phase is probably better overall, but I cannot deny the shotgun build. That is my true calling in life, is shotgun shoulders. Nothing quite bounce like a shotgun shoulder bounce. May we might as well take a pop gun because that's bouncy as well. Run, but firing with one weapon has a chance to give ammo for the other. More effective than firing both weapons. Yeah, we'll take that as well. Who? I wonder if there's many people that play steroids that by like using both guns individually rather than firing them both at the same time. I, I, there is merit to doing that, but it ain't my cup of tea. I like the true chaos. I like the true, true chaos. Yeah, we're good. Spinner yo-yo gunner, thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is too many grenades, my guy. Although you were meant to die, you didn't. Thank god he didn't shield, to be fair. If he shielded, he didn't fuck. Septuple blood rifle. That seems uh, like it'd do some damage. Quite ammo hungry, but it seemed pretty, pretty amazing. Get through. Here we go. Just need to give me another shotgun game. That's all you need to do. All you need to do is give me another shotgun, and I'll be happy. There's so many shotguns you can pass my way. I also, I need my plutonium hunger back. I'm, I'm not used to not having it. I, plutonium hunger might might be my new favorite, to be honest. It, the range increase must be like 200%. Oh my god, I love this. They're just annihilating everything. Beautiful. Before we go again, still no shotgun, but alas, it's fine. There it is, plutonium hunger, my baby. Oh, flame direct for shotgun as well. My beautiful. The fat man rolleth with his favourite weapons. He rolleth deep. And that just the visual of Plutonium Hunger, as I said before, just makes it so much more satisfying as well. That is quite the shotgun right there. Oh, really? No way! Oh, I'm so miffed that I died there. That was such a good run as well. I'm so miffed that I died there. The hell, game. I really didn't think that laser was going to get me. I find it kind of hard to predict that specific laser, to be honest. I get hit by that quite a lot. Because it kind of like does that little charge up animation before it fires. And I always think that's when it's going to fire. So I kind of get prepared for it to fire and then move into the shots by accident. Okay, Josh, but it's not the water token. Actually, to be fair, I'll take that. I'll take that anyways. I could go I could go bolt marrow with two bolt weapons. That would also work quite well. That would also be quite spicy. Alas, it shall not come to fruition right now. How long do you think you can hold me off my true potential game? How long are we saying? <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that sex double shotgun setup there. I think it worked pretty well. Flame revolver. Could do two bullet weapons with um, recycled land. That would be kind of good. I think that would be quite nice. 
We've already got our bolt and arrow going though, so we're already on this this build. We're on the warpath with this build. SMG, no thank you. Of course, one lonely rat resides back here. I do wish when one enemy was on its own, it specifically seeped you out and actually came towards you rather than just chilling. Um, Throwing butt once again is just too good not to take with this character for ammo consumption reasons. I see you there, Bird, but I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to you. The more appropriate time. Toxic line. Not quite what we're looking for either. Come on, splinter weapons. Off. I don't know, does it have to be two bow, uh, like bolt weapons, or can it be splinter and bolt? These are the same ammo types, they technically have the same type of weapon, but in terms of the ultra unlock, I don't actually know how that would work. I don't know how it would register. Stop lobbing bombs everywhere, my guy. It's too much. Through here we go. There's portals everywhere, I got that. Eagle eyes could be kind of good here, but I think the fists. Everyone loves the fists. We gotta be close. I'm saying at this floor we get our bolt. We get our big baby bolt. It knows I want it. This feels like the same thing as the last run, really. Shots going off everywhere. Ammo chest left behind. Uh, probably want rabbit paw here, but back muscle is also pretty good. I'm gonna go with back muscle. Damn it, didn't get it. Unfortunately, these two weapons don't have a super high damage output, so although we're killing stuff reasonably quickly, our damage is going to be falling off pretty soon. It's going to be falling off pretty soon. Bomb launcher. Accelerator. Damn it, game. It's all good stuff, but... Accelerate is really good at range, so just fire at him from a distance to do some good damage. Seems like the ideal scenario. I don't know how good the Accelerator is up close. I don't, like, it definitely falls off, but I'm not sure by how much, so it might still be good up close. It's not as good. Oh, really? I walked right into that saw blade? That was stupid. I don't really get hit by those saw blades all that much, to be honest. You actually die from on this stage. Man. I've said that. I did. <laughs> oh, why'd I even say that? I've ruined myself there. I've ruined myself. Ow. Machine gun. Inversion magnet. I could go double melee as well. That would also that would also be a, a thing that would work, I think. Let's go with power craving now. Guess, I guess if we get some like Kraken on some weapons, that massively improves them, so... I think Kraken is probably the best one. Of, of the of the mutations you can get, I feel like Kraken is the most powerful. We got an inverted area over here. Bouncy shots in this area is very nice. No. I got too greedy, man. I got too greedy. I tried to get right up in his face and it didn't really work. I swear, just playing as this character just makes me play worse. Oh, really? You're gonna do this to me? Oh, there you go. That wasn't actually too bad. 
wasn't too bad. Give me two micro weapons. That would be my true dream. Um, Recycle Gland is probably pretty good with this setup. Recycle Gland plus um, which strong back or whatever it's called. Strong, uh, the one that makes us carry more ammo. Shotgun there. You do tempt me, but I've, I've gone down a path now. You cannot sway me from said path. Plutonium Hunger, as as we've said prior, is just god tier. I used to really underrate it until like two or three weeks ago, and now I'm like, oh my god. Now it's like this just saves your back so much, especially on loop. On loop, it's it's like essential. If you're killing things so far away, and it means there's so much ammo that you're missing out on, so much health that you're potentially missing out on. Um, probably impact risks. We've been proving that that's been pretty good recently. Taking them all out. Oh, there's there's one of the micro weapons. Although it's the SMG, honestly, the SMG of the micro weapons is the worst one because its accuracy is just so bad. I think I'd rather stick with the bouncer. Look at this fat boy roll. Look at him rolling along, singing a song. Oh, you know what? That's a self burn right there. <laughs> I uh, I said singing a song and then realised that I'd said look at the fat boy roll and it said singing a song and I was the one singing the song. Oops. <laughs> self burn. See, now it gives me the splinter weapons, doesn't it? God oh, damn. We are, we are wrecking through stages with this setup right now. Um, honestly, that could be pretty good. I've not, I've not used Rage in a while. I think Rage is kind of a one that I used to like a lot, but I think now it's more one that I think is a bit more specific to certain builds. I don't think it's always going to be good. I think this is certainly a build where Rage works, because it's we're not getting hit super often, at least at the moment. And accuracy doesn't matter too much to us too much. And the extra drops and fire rate is gonna be pretty essential for survival. It's gonna be rough. Okay. Thought that guy was gonna shield and that was gonna be the end of our life there. At the minute, I'm, like, pretty on board to just stick with these two weapons with the setup we've got going on right now. It's proving to be pretty amazing. See, look, all those rads, all that ammo I wouldn't have otherwise gotten. Grabbing it all. all again. Mini flame cannon. Oh, there's another enemy. That was close. I didn't actually see him. Oh, there's another enemy. Oh my god. There's just no, no stopping you guys, is there? Um, Puffy cheats, maybe? No, let's go with Hypersomnia. Because I think Hypersomnia, with this weapon and the bouncing and stuff, could be pretty amazing at taking out a lot of the stage before they wake up. I do wish the Hypersomnia is one of those mutations that I don't think is that good. Um, I do wish Hypersomnia was like maybe two or three seconds, maybe just two seconds more sleep. The amount you get out of it doesn't feel like a lot. I think the best thing about it is like is bo some bosses and uh, IDPD spawning in a sleep. That's certainly something that I value quite highly. Thrown, but with this should be pretty good. I 
that's why we needed the Thurum, but there. I mean, our Rage Meter's climbed pretty high, so far. you can see how much extra fire rate we've got already, to be honest. Unfortunately, as well, one thing that I, I, I would like to see with Hypersomnia 2 is it, it only starts the timer once the first enemy is on screen. Like, the, the timer for them being asleep, like, for them waking up once the first enemy's on screen, because, goddamn, the amount of stages that you spawn into, and there's, like, no enemies anywhere near you, and by the time you actually find the enemies, it's like, time's up. Sometimes, it like, that doesn't make any difference, like, here, but other times, it kind of really screws you. But you can see why we needed all the ammo, various ammo things we got going on right now. Our rage has reached crazy high levels. I'm just down here, eh, little fellas? Well, yeah, there we go. Rhino skin is probably good, but back muscle could be good. I think I'm going to go with Rhino skin just for survivability. Splinter. I'm going to go with Splinter. Oh, fucking forgot about it. This guy always hits me, so say goodbye to our full rage meter right now. I don't even know if we're at full rage or if we're just like on really high rage. But I find this guy particularly difficult to not get hit against, so. Luckily, we don't lose all of our rage, but we do lose a good bit of it. But we also just. Oh my fucking life. I hate that boss so much, my god. Breathe. Breathe. Nothing quite gets me angry like Little Counter. I still stand by. I still stand by my, my statement that he is the worst designed boss in gaming history. <laughs> in roguelike history, should I say. I would rather fight a thousand Skolexes in Isaac than Little Hunter even just one more time. My god. He's just got so much bullshit. <laughs> There's just so much BS with him. I think honestly we might just have to stick with these two weapons. They're really, really good and the fact that they're bound for is even better. I think we only need a few things to really enable these two guns to be really good. One of the things will be weapon mods. Weapon mods would be really nice. Um, but recycled glands plus um, plus throw but which we have now, essentially gives us infinite ammo. Not quite, but pretty close to it. It's very, very hard for us to run out of ammo like this. With like, if you combine like the ammo drops that we're getting in with this, I think I think what we need to do is now that we've got these these mutations, we now just need to. Um, work on getting defensive mutations to stay alive, because we're clearly biting the dust a little bit early on a lot of these. Um, I don't know if Eagle Eyes is really worth anything to us, but I can try it. Just to have a little bit more focus fire at range, it might be useful, because the shots still bounce around and hit everything after the sort of hit where we wanted them to. I don't think it's that big of a downside, really. Toxic line. Du, 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 du. Okay. Get rid of your fire. No, thank you. I say I need I need tough shell again. Tough shell is is for dirt right now. Tough shell is one of my favorite mutations nowadays. Ever since it, like, it gives you plus one HP now, it's just become so much better. I should survive a whole one extra hit. So, one downside I'm certainly noticing with this is it's a lot harder to see what the hell's going on. Maybe we'll do Crown of Blood with this, considering we're, we're able to, like, kill so many enemies and stuff. 
Like, you get more rads through Crown of Blood. It's, it makes things a little more tricky, but... It can make things a little more tricky, but I think with the right mutations, we get more rads and we can level up quicker. So there's Tough Shell. I'll take Tough Shell right off the bat this time, because that's clearly something that we want. I'm a little bit conservative with my ammo right now, because we don't have any of the ammo saving things to help us out. Luckily, we're not doing too bad ammo-wise anyways, but still, I should try to play a little more safe. A little more on the safe side. Um, lucky shot. There you go. I think lucky shot's like a 23% chance to gain ammo back on hitting an enemy. I love that when I get HP and instantly take damage straight after. It feels so stupid. But you can see how much more survivable we feel with um, Huff Shell. We've even got level 4 here already. Um, recycle glands. Yeah, n now, now the party's really starting. Now the party's really starting. Just need Plutonium Hunger now and I think we're good. And I think we're good. Oh, we need Throne Butt as well. I don't think we have Throne Butt yet. You're in a really awkward position. There you go. That's what I need to do, like, fire a bunch of shots and then go back into hiding and come back and reap my rewards. I don't need to be in the thick of it all the time, sort of thing. Nice. I think bosses are the only place where these guns kind of struggle a little bit. Um, yeah, I think Scary Face could be good here. Normally, like, low damage pair bullet guns aren't great with Scarier Face, but I think they are still good. Not oh, forgot them birds. Back up, birds. The crow shites. Oh my god. She just flew right into those bombs. Pretty goddamn silly of you. Oh my god, it's just an endless stream of crows. It's the crow winning. Where we go? Inverted area here I'm not particularly familiar with, so play it safe. Snipers fire explosive shots, we've just learnt that. That's a lot of snipers. Holy fuck. Um, that's way too many snipers. I think I've also activated Big Dog. One really, really big problem with this version of Big Dog is he fires those little micro nukes that are, like, impossible to destroy. And you just have to kind of wait until they fuck off. <laughs> but they're not, it's not like, too bad, but it is annoying. Ooh. Extra bouncer on this. I don't mind if I do. Um... I think we go for this one. We've got so many extra enemies, right? Don't know why we've ended up coming through here, I'll be honest. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. I have to admit, I'm not a fan. Literally can't see what the fuck's going on anywhere. This is impossible. There's just fire all over my screen at all times. I'm back to maximum HP, though, apparently. Don't know how, don't know when. Get 
The amount of bouncer shots is too damn high. We're up to level 7. Second stomach's probably worth it right now. Um, rabbit paw's probably worth it. We'll take rabbit paw, I think. The extra potential HP drops. I think, honestly, Bloodlust is going to be healing us more than anything else, but still, I need to keep my eye on things. Plutonium Hunger, I, I need you. Honestly, tough shell for the win, man. man. Tough, tough shell for the win. I think tough shell for second stomach is, like, an insane combo, so we really need to get second stomach. I'll go through here. Radiation, Frost. Got frost on the other one. Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're almost level 8. Um... Where the fuck did- Oh, dude, don't you dare do bouncy shots right now. Thank goodness. This might be- uh, This might be kind of tough for killing this guy, but luckily it's okay. Level 8 now, baby. Okay. Um, probably go with this. Every third hit is negated. I think that with Tough Show is also a pretty good combo. Luckily, everything takes a small bit of a beating, regardless of who we're firing at. Because everything's getting hit by all the bouncies. We're running out of ammo here, though. I wasn't much avoiding that. As you can see, though, came out of that with full HP somehow. To be honest, I don't really know how, but we did. We are level 8 now. We are going to have to fight Cheshire, which is unfortunate. Cheshire's still a boss that I'm really bad at. Not a particularly hard boss, I'm just not very good at it. I, I think that's more the case. I really don't think any of the personal loot bosses are that hard. There's some explosive sheep around, which I have to admit I'm not a fan of. There's an inverted area there, but I, I doubt we take that. Here we go once again. We got reload speed or HP ammo drop. I think we take HP ammo drop. That could be useful. Do not like the fact that uh, we came to this floor with very little ammo and we're fighting a boss and that's going to be pretty tricky. Come on. We've already used up all our ammo as well. Just die already. There you go. That was pretty sketchy. Honestly, ammo is going to be real bad here, I think. We, it requires us a lot of ammo to kill things now. Unless we're getting a lot of ammo too. Oh god. Even our health is not good right now. Almost level 8. We are probably going to have to fight through him before we get next level. I didn't know she could eat walls. Heavy flare gun would be kind of fun. Of course, I could switch to two other weapons of the same type later on here if I found two, but... Okay, Throne Butt is probably what we have to take here, uh, just because we need the uh, extra potential ammo. 
but it's running out so much on the enemies that have so much extra HP that I think we need it. Ah, bugger. This is a really rough stage here. We've got a lot and a lot of tough enemies back over there. Luckily, Frost is kind of nice to us here. It's the doggies that I don't like. When there's a lot of those, the Crown of Blood, there's a lot of them. They become a nuisance pretty quickly. Get out of here, you. Come on, health. Of course it gives me health underneath one of the big dogs. Is the only, the only one left? You've got to be kidding me. You've actually... I really didn't think he was going to jump there. Oh, man. I really didn't think he was going to jump. Oh, Lord. I'm trying to think of if there's a crown that's going to make things easier here, but I just don't think there is. I could go with the crown of the Kraken and try, try that out. That, that could be something kind of interesting. I need like a rabbit's paw or something to make this work really effectively though. But I'm intrigued by the prospect of this, definitely. I really like Crown of the Kraken in general. Why are you guys not seeking this guy out? He's so close to you. Just get him. You know you want to. Right, one second. Right, let's keep this going. I, I don't know if this is going to be a good setup, I'll be honest. I really don't, but... I'm hopeful. The setup is keep running out of ammo, but with two guns to create more Krakens. I think that would work. I honestly don't know if I actually will, but I'm, I'm curious to see. Um... I don't know how this would work, but I'm going to try it. Unfortunately, it doesn't create two Krakens because we're running out of the same ammo type, which is annoying. Also... Okay. Ultra mod develop. Hold up a minute. It leaves me on one ammo, and it doesn't create a crack. Don't like that. I've run out of ammo. I can't fire my gun. So, where am I cracking at, baby? Where am I cracking at? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Are you telling me that if I throw the throwing knife, I create a crack? No. Apparently not. I see so many of you. Yeah, that sh that that should just create a kraken. Um, right. What are we gonna go for next? Be that. Maybe that. Yeah, that's that's real annoying. I'm not creating krakens because I'm not technically running out of ammo, but I can't fire my gun. I have one left. Don't like that. That's that's very, very annoying. I have to be on a specific interval of ammo, otherwise it doesn't work. That was a short stage. Okay, no, there is some more down here.
threat group. And then I'm just dead because it didn't create a Kraken. I mean, somehow, I have managed to kill things and live in this situation, and I, I just be honest, I don't know how. Is that it? Nope. Is that it? Nope. There you go. Ugh, why are you having the portal all the way over there? That's just rude. Where, where the hell is it? That's just the starting area, I think. Um, he's going in hunger because it could be good with this setup. Come on, Kraken. I'm relying on you to give me ammo here, my guy. This is a weird setup, but it's some it's somehow working sometimes. Why can't I pick up the ammo chest? I keep missing it somehow. Or does it keep ref does it keep resetting itself? Does it keep like relocking and opening? What's going on with that? No cracking. This is the sort of army I want. That's the sort of army I was looking for the whole time. Okay, we're leaving it there for this one. Unfortunately, we'll come back to him, but yeah, that, that interaction with Kraken Crown is really gross. <laughs> Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.